From a lot of comments, Thomas McCune, Jared Roser at Zachary High School with Lindsey Scott. Uh, we've talked a lot about your high school career and all those accomplishments, and now you know that you're going to be playing some football at LSU. And it's been kind of a crazy path to get to that point. What has it been like to go from last summer where I'm talking to your dad at an LSU camp about, but man, if he could just be a half inch taller, then everybody would be on him, to now where everyone is on you. You've got coaches flying in unannounced a couple weeks ago from across the country, and you're rolling through media interviews today. How crazy of a turnaround has that been? Uh, it's it's been crazy, you know, um, to see activity jump from zero to zero percent to you know 100, and um, you know I, I think uh, my mom and dad have taught me how to handle it well, which I which I have. Um, it's been a roller coaster, and um, I think we're almost at the end of the roller coaster, you know, well, at least the high school roller coaster. You know, about, yeah. to, about to start college soon. I really thought you were about to go Drake with your from zero percent to 100 percent as uh, quick as it was. <laughs> <laughs> What stood out about LSU is a program that, as much as, as much as they didn't offer until late, mm -hmm. you were real familiar with them. They were real familiar with you. Mm -hmm. What was the relationship like, and what was ultimately the selling point that, with the options you had, that's where you wanted to be? Well, the relationship was always was always great. You know, Coach Cameron kept in touch with us, and um, you know he was always there, and uh, we, we built a strong relationship over the, the past couple summers. The selling point for me was, um, you know, I always knew LSU had a, had a great, you know, football team and a great football tradition. The selling point for me was kind of getting on campus and seeing the things. I was really impressed with uh, the new engineering building that they're, that they're um, building and uh, the academic foundation that they have over there. So that, that was kind of a selling point for me in, in being close to home and also having the opportunity to, to you know, further my academics and, and be on a team with uh, national championship potential. A lot of people, I guess, have asked me if the offer coming so late would be like a a chip on your shoulder in a way where you would you would be kind of salty with the LSU dynamic. Right. What do you say to to that? How how much or little of a concern right. was anything like that? Uh, Coach Brewer and I talked about it. My father talked about it less, and and, and Coach Cam and I have talked about it. You know, um, this business recruiting is a business, and uh, in and in a business there's no feelings. So you you know don't let your feelings get get in front of a, a huge opportunity for you. So that's the way I thought about it. You know, LSU offered late. You know, so did uh, a couple other schools. You know, it's a business, and I understand that. And, and, and in the business, you have to make the best moves for your team. So um, that, that's definitely nothing. It, it, it didn't hinder my decision at all. Did they talk to you at all when they had yet to offer, or to when they did offer to explain the the lateness of it? Did they give you any rationale? Did they did they mention your height as much as other people? No, coach, outside of it, did no, coach, uh, coach, coach Cameron always know I could play. And um, you know he's always like me. Les is always like me. It was just that the the, um, the Syracuse commitment at the time I was committed to Syracuse, so they they kind of left me alone and let me and let me and let me be. And when I decommitted, they they um, expressed their their feelings and, and the fact that they wanted me part of their program. The whole idea of of saying quarterbacks are supposed to be six two or six three or whatever. How do you feel about that? What do you say to to critics? And I mean clearly. To this point, your height hasn't really slowed you down. Um, you know, my height is, is my height. I live with it. You know, um, it's the reason why I can walk through the door without hitting my head. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, it, I don't let it, you know, affect my play or the way I think. Um, and I love going out and proving that that a quarterback my size can play. And so as you know, people like Russell Wilson and Drew Brees. So I hope I get the chance to be a part of that elite fraternity of, I guess, you know, quote unquote short quarterbacks. And uh, I think day by day I'm, I'm proving people wrong about about the size of the quarterback. You know, it's more about you know the the, the mind and actually playing a position and the experience. The the All America game, you were behind some big guys on yeah. the offensive line and had success out there. Yeah. What was that like? And not that y'all had a, a bunch of smaller guys necessarily playing offensive line here, right. but to go behind a bunch of six three, six four, six five. Right. All the way around, guys. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, everybody there on the offensive line were either six to be taller, you know, um, and it was uh, it was a great experience. You know, um, I can't look back and remember anything being th different. You know, I still saw my lanes and I still threw over the guys as normal. So, um, you know, actually getting to play in front of a, a, a NCAA line, a college line, and it being the same is just you know another uh, boosting point for me. What are your expectations for 
the LSU offense in particular once you get there and obviously a, a program you've been really familiar with yeah. and had a chance to, to kind of preview some of the, the playbook at times and mm -hmm. whatnot. What do you see there and how do you think you fit into that mix? Um, you know, I think I'm a very versatile quarterback. You know, I can do anything on the center, three, five, seven step drops that in the gun. So when I get there and I step on campus, anything that, that Coach Cameron has for me, I, I'll, I'll be able to do it. And, um, you know, if whether it be, you know, taking snaps around the gun or in the shotgun, I'll, I'll be able to do it and help the team win. You and Brandon have developed a relationship over the last few years. Have you had a chance to talk to him in the last two days? Yeah, he's excited about me coming. He's like a, he's an older brother to me. And um, I, I love the chance to kind of, you know, sit behind him a little bit and, and, and learn things that, that uh, he's learned so far being in college. So uh, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. What's Wednesday going to be like when it, when it comes down to it and you're dragging the pen across the paper? What's the environment, the emotions, all of those things? Oh, there's going to be a good bit of emotion in it, you know, um, since uh, freshman year. You know, me, my dad, my mom, my sister and brother have, uh, you know, we've all had sacrifices to get to this point. You know, I can remember nice to me and my dad were up 2 o'clock in the morning in the gym. We started at 8, you know, and, and we, were, we were working. And um, there was a goal in my mind, and there was a goal in my mind, and we weren't going to stop until we achieved it. And now we achieved it. There's, there's newer and better goals, and um, now we're going to work even harder to reach them. Lindsey Scott, quarterback over at Zachary High, committed to LSU. And for Nola.com, Thomas Petune, Jared Roser.